All right, I had a couple of people ask me what I think about this whole Steven Anderson thing, the latest Anderson scandal of him saying that he's glad that 50 sodomites were killed down there in Florida. And uh, what do I think about that? Well, I think that people are asking the wrong question. It's not uh, why would Steven Anderson do this or, you know, he's doing this for uh, popularity or whatever else. That's not really the question. The question is not about Steven Anderson that we should be asking as Bible-believing Christians. The question should be, why is the news media covering that? Why is the news media so interested in this thing of Steven Anderson? I mean, there are so many people, uh, you know, uh, nasty Baptist preachers in this country that say nasty things and, and really attack the sodomites, you know, viciously. And a lot of times it's because they have their own sexual perversion problems and it's easier to point out the perversion of the uh, sodomites than it is to talk about things like pornography addiction, you know, which many of them are addicted themselves. But the point is, why does the news media give coverage to Steven Anderson? That's the question people need to be asking. And uh, why is it that he has an, a whole army of what I call, what we, we're starting to call active duty Andersonagites? Um, Steven Anderson, there's a lot more to this little jerk than, uh, than most people realize. Uh, I mean, why does, the, why does the President of the United States mention Steven Anderson? I brought out a video on that. Years ago, he, uh, they said if you could have 10 people you know, killed or whatever to Obama, uh, who would they be? And he named Alex Jones and Steven Anderson in his, in his list. Um, you know, if you're trying to get rid of a radical militant type of a person that's making problems, you ignore them. That's what you do. Why give them press time? Why give them coverage? Uh, Steven Anderson is controlled opposition. Okay, I don't know what agency, be it the CIA or... They're all subservient to the Jesuit order. That's why I call him a temporal coadjutor. Temporal, again, to just to reiterate it here, it means not he's not a priest. He's not working within the Catholic Church. He's just working within non-Catholic type circles. A coadjutor is somebody that helps, an assistant, if you will. So Anderson is a Jesuit temporal coadjutor. There's no question about that. He is definitely, his uh, things that he's bringing out, replacement theology and post-tribism, um, uh, changing the identity of Mystery Babylon in Revelation 17 and 18, uh, many, many, many things. The false gospel that he preaches, um, it's all in line with the Vatican's goals and plans of infiltrating the Bible-believing movement. And, of course, Stephen Anderson is also being used to uh, brainwash people against Bible-believing Christians. Uh, much like Fred Phelps of the Westboro Baptist Church got so many people, you know, he turned the word Baptist into a hateful term. Where people think Baptist, they think of guys, you know, out protesting funerals, holding up signs saying, God hates fags. Uh, you know, fag is not a, a Bible word, and yet Anderson will use it. And it's ironic because lesser channels on YouTube, you have people using, they'll say faggot or queer or something like that, which I don't use those terms. That's not biblical. Um, but you have people using those terms, and their channel gets taken down. Um, Anderson has openly threatened the president, and yet he continues. Explain that one to me. And again, why is the news media giving him press time? Why? Uh, they're trying to turn people against the Bible-believing movement. You know, if they can't, if, if Bible-believing Christians are not dangerous, and we're not dangerous to anybody, uh, except, you know, sin, and except the devil, you know, but we're not physically violent, we don't, we don't believe in violence and things like that. Uh, and so we're not going to make a problem, we're not going to, how do you turn people against Bible-believing Christians? How does Satan turn people against them? Well, raising up fake Christians, fake quote-unquote Bible believers, to come out and, and uh, stir up violence and hatred and whatever else. And that's what Steven Anderson is. I've been seeing that thing for years and years, and that's why people say, oh, you're so obsessed. I, I want to see the guy done. I want to see him out of there. And, of course, he has his whole army of little uh, fellow preachers that, that follow the same script, just like Anderson does. But uh, we need to discredit their whole movement. Their whole movement of the Babel buildings and the the false, you know, hateful attacks against people. You know, the guy comes out in one hand and he says, uh, sodomites can't get saved. And then he comes out and he says, all, it needs, all you need for salvation is just belief. Okay. Um, 
It, no, it's contrary to what the Bible teaches. The Bible teaches that you must be born again. There must be a change in your life that, that accompanies salvation. And uh, so I teach, and I've always taught, and I will always teach, that a sodomite that desires to be saved is going to have to give up that sinful lifestyle. And that doesn't mean you give it up and you, you get totally clean and then you get saved. No, you come to the Lord as a sinner, understanding that that sin of sodomy is is got you in big trouble with the Lord right now. And so you come and you say, God, I need help getting out of this thing. And you get saved, you get born again, and you become a new creature in Christ Jesus. And He will help you to get away from that perversion. Um, that's what salvation is. Stephen Anderson does not preach that. Uh, so the, the real question here is not uh, what about Stephen Anderson? It's what about why is the media giving him coverage? Uh, he's a fake. He's a fraud. And we need to expose him and all the little cult followers that he has. They are uh, they're, they're an army of disinfo agents is what they are. Uh, we really need to pr pray hard about it. We need to not yoke up with these people at all. Uh, expose them for the devils that they are.